Hey guys, it's me, GTB, and I'll be and I'm gonna be basically showing you how to make a server on Minecraft for a beta 1.5. Um, so just let you know that I'm telling the truth. There's beta 1.5. So uh, there's that. Okay. So what you're first gonna do is uh, go onto your web browser and go to the Minecraft website. Just let you know, you have to you have to own Minecraft to actually do this, to actually play on the server. So if you don't own Minecraft, then you you have to buy it. But uh, once you're here, um, over here where it says Buy Now, go right under it and it says Play Minecraft Beta. It'll say In Browser or Download. Click on Download. Then um, you'll see Windows, Mac OS X, Link, Linux, or other, and all, all the stuff. Don't don't click on your operating system. What you're gonna do is you're gonna run it as an uh, exe file, a Minecraft server exe file. And um, I don't really know how the server dot, dot jar works. This is just a plain out simple version. Um, so if you gonna want a server with like more than 10 people or 15, more than 15 people, I'd recommend server dot jar. But um, this is just for the basic. Um, 10 or less people server. So right here, um, you'll see multiplayer beta software right there. Uh, the first one should say Minecraft server.exe. Click on that and hit save file. Okay. Now find it and drag it to your desktop. Mine already goes to the desktop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna name you're gonna create a folder. So right click new folder it should be highlighted already. If not, highlight the folder to rename it and name it Minecraft uh, Server. And you can after th you don't ha have to call it Minecraft Server. I just like calling it that. So you could call it like my awesome Minecraftness isness. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to call that folder. I just like to call it Minecraft Server in case I lose it and I can find it really quickly by searching it. Okay, so now that you got Minecraft server over here, double click it and uh, you should drag in Minecraft server.exe into the Minecraft folder, okay? So here's your Minecraft server.exe that you downloaded. Drag it into the new folder that you created. Double click on the folder and launch the exe. All you have to do to launch it is nothing special. Just double click it and hit run. Okay, now let this go to 100%. And um, when it does, you'll see lots of new items pop into your folder. That's why you need a folder because uh, this program creates um, like about 10 other items. So that's why I told you to get a folder so that your desktop doesn't become all clumped and stuff. So, um, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. Once it, once the thing reaches done or 100% or wait for it to say done or complete or something that you know that is completely done, then this is what you're going to type in. Go to the bottom of this box that you double clicked on and type in stop. Okay? And just type in stop and then hit enter and it should exit out and you should just have the folder. Now you see that there's all this different stuff. I'm going to tell you what this all means. Server.properties. Uh, what you're going to want to do here is leave the level name world. Uh, nothing fancy. If you're doing mods, you'll have to change it, but just leave it to world. Hell world, that's the nether. Just keep it false if you want to regularly, of course, just play the regular uh, world. Spawn monsters. You can, um, if you don't like monsters, put it on. Uh, take out true and put in false okay if you like monsters put it true online mode put that true you have to keep that true or else people can't join spawn animals um, once again if you don't like animals which I don't really um, I, I'd actually like them a lot but it, pretend I didn't like animals I'm gonna zoom in onto this sorry my camera isn't that good but um, I highlighted over true and I'm just gonna type in false, okay? But I, and and I'll save it. But I like animals, so I'm gonna type it in as true. Max players. This is uh, basically how much people you. Oh, let me zoom out. Um, 
this is basically how much people you want to have in your server. I know mine uh, is just for me and my friends on the internet, so mine will only get to uh, about 15. And like I said, if you're going to have more than like 10 or 15, then I recommend using the other program. Server IP, you're going to put in your IP there, your regular IP. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, you're going to uh, type in, uh, you're going to get a new tab or a new Safari thing or, or Internet Explorer, whatever you use, and type in on the address bar, what is my IP dot, I think it's dot com. I'm actually going to hit enter because, you know, I don't want to sh guys show, I don't want to show you guys my IP, but just type in what is my IP dot com, all one word, or it's either that or what is my IP dot org. And you're just going to put that in here, okay? You're going to put that as the server IP. Remember, no spaces, no spaces on any of these things. And PVP, you could, I, I don't like battling with my friends because I just like uh, us all working together. So PVP is false. And um, there's all these different things like level C. If you know a C, just type it in. Server so report, it should be uh, 25565. That should be your server port. And then um, allow fight is uh, you can just do that true or false. And whitelist, true or false. Okay, then we're just going to go ahead, file, and save. Just save it. Don't save as, just save. And then OPs. This is, um, for the OPs are people who can spawn items. So you can just, what you're going to want to do is pretend you had a na g guy named Kyle. You're going to type in Kyle. That not not his regular name in real life. Just type in his name on Minecraft. Just so let you know. Type in his name on Minecraft. So if his name is like Kyle87, you just type in Kyle87. And then if you want to add another guy who can spawn items, hit the Enter button and uh, put in your your name. For example, uh, put in like Tom87 or something like that. Whatever your Minecraft name is. Then you hit File, Save and exit and should be saved there it is so those two people are OPs OPs can like I said can spawn items whenever they want if you don't like a person you can ban them by uh, if I if I don't like Kyle anymore he's really a jerk now and just put in Kyle 87 or whatever the username is whatever guy you uh, don't want joining your server anymore and just hit file save and uh, then, uh, I don't save, okay, and then you have to save it, I just didn't save it because this isn't really going to be my server, but just save it, and then, um, that's basically going over everything there, now to launch the server, you got to double click on that, just run it if it asks you, and then right here, um, you're basically just going to start it up, now with your IP, uh, it should be there. Now what you're going to do is um, start up Minecraft. Okay, then you're going to go to multiplayer and type in um, your Minecraft. Uh, it, well, you're going to type in your IP address. Okay, go to multiplayer, then type in your IP address. And then um, hit connect. And you will connect to your server. Um, if you want your friends to join, you have to port forward, by the way. If you don't know how to do that, look at another video, because I don't have that much time left. I have, like, a minute left. But, um, that's basically it. And if you want to stop your server, like before, just type in stop at the bottom and hit enter. And your Minecraft server is stopped. So right here in this folder, if you want to start it again, double-click minecraftserver.exe. Hit run if it if it asks you. And, uh, your server is basically running right now. In about nine and a half, in about eight and a half minutes, eight and a half minutes, you basically created your own server. So that's how to create a one uh, beta 1.5 server. Um, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Make lots of uh, Minecraft videos, including Let's Plays, also by Call of Duty, and uh, lots of those first-person shooters. So um, yeah, if you guys need any tutorials, just ask me. And bye, guys.